Well, Donald Trump continues to dominate the presidential field. Thank you so much for reading my lines for it me. It happens sometimes. Leland. Like Leland said, Donald Trump is dominating the GOP field. New polls this week puts Trump on top with a 16-point lead, but potential voters have so far given him a pass on a series of reversals and flip-flops that would normally sink a candidate. The real estate mogul argues he has evolved. Fox News correspondent Doug McElway looks at these changes and if Trump will be able to keep his lead. Read my lips. No. Three years after presidential candidate George H.W. Bush said that, he signed into law an increase on recording device royalties. Opponents relentlessly hounded him with accusations of flip-flopping on taxes. Fair or not, the flip-flop accusation has damaged many a candidate. I actually did vote for the $87 billion before I voted against it. Do you think a mandate, mandating people to buy insurance, is the right tool? Uh, Brett, I don't know how many hundred times I've said this, too. This is an unusual interview. <laughs> All right, let's do it again. If you like your health care plan, you'll be able to keep your health care plan. Donald Trump now sits high atop the Republican field, undamaged by numerous flip-flops on abortion, for example. I'm, I'm very pro-choice. I hate the concept of abortion. Uh, so I'm pro-life, but with the caveats. And you have to have with, with the caveats. On campaign financing. I'm using my own money. I'm not using the lobbyists. I'm not using donors. I don't care. I'm really rich. We have a lot of small contributors. I, I would even take big contributors as long as they don't expect anything. Trump once favored the legalization of drugs. Now he's opposed. He once opposed a flat tax proposed by Steve Forbes. Now he wants a simpler code. He once proposed a ban on assault weapons and supported longer wait times for guns. He no longer does. He once supported the privatization of Social Security. Now he does it. Why are his supporters so forgiving? He sounds like you're talking to your, maybe your uncle who is just a little cranky, but is telling it like it is. People relate to that. He's funny. I think a lot of other conservatives who are supporting him are just not aware of uh, all of the liberal positions he's taken over the years. Uh, and until somebody spends a lot of money on ads publicizing those positions, they're not going to know about them. I've evolved on many issues over the years, and you know who else has is Ronald Reagan evolved on many issues. Reagan was a one-time Democrat who defended his switch to the GOP, saying, quote, I didn't leave the Democratic Party. The Democratic Party left me. Also frequently hounded for many policy and party switches, Winston Churchill fired back at his critics, quote, some men change their party for the sake of their principles, others their principles for the sake of their party. In Washington, Doug McElway, Fox News. Nice quote about Churchill. Let's bring in our fair and balanced panel, Angela McGlowan, Fox News contributor and radio show host Mark Levine. All right. So, Angela, yes. do you think that the flip-flops are a matter of principle or a matter of politics for Donald Trump? Well, Donald Trump is political, but he's not a politician. And that's why people are attracted to him. He, everybody loves success, Leland. So I think people evolve, like Donald Trump said. I was once a Democrat. I changed uh, to uh, be re a Republican at the age of 23. So we, re we evolve in what we believe, and that includes political ideology. Mar Mark, uh, in the event that uh, Mr. Trump is the front runner, does these kinds of flip-flops really help a potential uh, Democratic nominee in a debate? Uh, they may help the Democrat, but they won't harm his uh, big popularity among Republicans. The people who support Donald Trump don't care what his positions are. They don't support him because of his positions. They support him because he's an amiable, filthy rich, rude, ignorant blowhard. They, oh, okay. they, they like him. Basically, he's Stephen Colbert. In fact, he's the caricature that Stephen Colbert used to play for all these years. So Stephen uh, Colbert, Mark, 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 Mark uh, you know, I've, I've, I've really, I, I so often wonder what you're really thinking, and finally now we found. Now, out. You know. It's fabulous. But if you think about what the American people think. Look at the Quinnipiac, what they call the word cloud. So they ask people, what's the first word that comes to mind when you say this person's name? This is the word cloud that came out. And Mark, it's not much different than uh, what you just said, uh, although a couple of them are actually censored, so we can't say them on TV. <laughs> Clown, idiot, crazy, uh, blowhard, arrogant, outspoken. I, I think I see one joke, showman. I see one word in there uh, that's good, and that would be honest. So how do people like him, Mark, under your theory, 
if they have all of these words associated with it. Here's them. why they like him. They don't like him for his policies. They don't care about his policies. They like him because they're opposed to the way politics are right now. They okay. hate the Republican establishment. They don't like Republicans in Congress. They don't like Jeb Bush, who's a pale imitation of his brother and his tired policies. Republicans are tired of their leaders. They want to throw all the bums out. And Donald Trump expresses that Listen, angst, Mark, that I've anger had, I've in their hearts. I've had people from my community who are Democrats who like Trump. So, you know, don't say people don't, Angela, you know, well, Angela, not Angela, Angela, before, but Angela, before we get uh -huh. to whether Democrats like Trump, I'm interested in this. To, to Mark's point in terms uh -huh. of so many Republicans who like him because he's anti-establishment, is the establishment in the Republican Party starting to get worried that Donald Trump actually presents a chance, uh, a, a real fight for Jeb Bush and for Marco Rubio and for Walker, the so-called establishment candidates, and that all of a sudden the Republican nomination could go to Donald Trump? The Republican nomination is not going to go to Donald Trump. Donald Trump does not set the platform for the Republican Party, and no, the establishment is not worried. Now, I don't like the fact that you have candidates that are now actually giving Trump more attention. I wish that our candidates would actually talk about the issues and not even mention Trump. And that's why people like Trump more, because now some of our other candidates seem like they're following Trump's lead. Here's how you know that Donald Trump is a protest candidate rather than a real candidate. Okay. Number two is Ben Carson, also not an establishment candidate. People aren't voting for Trump because they like Donald Trump. I mean, he's amiable, he's fun, he's fun to watch. They're voting for Donald Trump, supporting him in the polls because they don't like the Republican establishment. And that's why Ben Carson's doing well as well. Interesting point on Ben Carson. <laughs> Angela, last word. Listen, this is a long political season, and the American people are tired of being sick and tired, and they don't <laughs> like politicians. That's why Trump is exciting folks right now. The oh-so-diplomatic Mark Levine and his descriptions. <laughs> Angela McGlowan, uh, slightly, uh, slightly uh, more diplomatic. We appreciate it. Thank, Thank you very much for both you of you guys' insights. Thank you. All the best. Thanks. All right, great.